Hey Dream Starters, I have to tell you, if you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, or looking to be an entrepreneur, you have to be so excited that Donald Trump has won the presidency of the United States. No matter what side you're on right now, if you go into business and you understand business even in the slightest degree, you are going to be such a big Donald Trump supporter. And here's why. Number one, regulations. When you go into business, you have to understand that there's regulations that are put upon the business for hiring people, for the products and services that they offer, the paperwork that's necessary, everything that is required for somebody to hire somebody, all of this adds up for more paperwork, more time, more things to do, more things to worry about, more things that could cause fines on you if the paperwork isn't set on sent in on time. And all that does is de de uh, distract the business owner from actually focusing on making a better product or service. In addition, that slows down growth. So if you are going to be spending more time on this paperwork that technically is just extra work that's almost like extra homework that's put on you and you can't worry about your business, that's a ch that's, there's a chance of your business starting to fail. Also, because of that extra paperwork, you might need to hire more people to stay on top of those regulations and make sure you are in compliance with even the credit card processing and different areas of the business that might have to do with the EPA or anything to do with extra work can hurt the business owner from growing. Now, if you are a big business, you can hire people to, to take care of all the paperwork for you. Now, it's gonna be extra cost to you, but the small business owner what really makes up 60, 70 percent of the of the uh, workforce in the United States nowadays is made up of small businesses. So the, the the small business owner has to now delegate to other people, which means they have to hire more people or spend time on it themselves, which detracts from growing their business. That's number one. Number two is the taxes. As you know, if you take uh, economics 101 person who creates the job is the business owner. So if you take away tax, extra taxes to, from the, sorry, I just got somebody from uh, messaging me. So if you reduce the taxes for a small business owner, what that's going to do is a couple different things. That's going to give that business owner a chance to put it back into their business so they can put on advertising, maybe make it a better product, a better service, maybe put it into a job. They could create a job with that extra tax. But what also it does is maybe it incentivizes or rewards the business owner and they have more money in their pocket at the end of the day. So that's an incentive and reward for the business owner to work harder. But the more money that's in that business owner's pocket has a better chance of the business succeeding, which means the chance of it succeeding will also increase the, the chances of it growing. Growing means more jobs. And if you have more jobs available, that means that there's going to be less unemployment in the world. So as an entrepreneur, you have to look at Donald Trump and say, okay, he's going to reduce regulation and he's going to reduce taxes. Okay. As a small business owner, I now have a better chance of succeeding. So you, the entrepreneurs out there, anybody in the business world who understands economics 101, you have to be a big Donald Trump supporter for that reason, or for those two reasons. He's a businessman. He understands that the way you grow the economy is you grow businesses.